All right, so in addition to the camera crane, another cue that Unreal has taken straight from Hollywood is the, uh, the camera rig rail. So what you can use this for is you can make uh, really smooth tracking shots with it. So the camera will attach to this little platform, and this platform will uh, move along the rails wherever you place them. Now you can adjust the length of a rail by sliding it out, and if you hold Alt and slide it out, it'll create a second point. And you can see that it even makes nice curves between one point and another. You can uh, use these to uh, translate even up and down. They don't have to stay flat on the, on the surface here. Now the way to edit this track, as you can see here, we wouldn't really want this to dip below the surface of the ground. You can select any point and select the uh, the handles here, and you can manipulate these in any way you'd really want. So uh, let's say you wanted this to uh, be a wider turn or you know, be a little more smooth, you can just grab these points and move them uh, to, to get the shot that you're really looking for. Now the proper way to use this with a uh, sequence ad set would be to drag out a camera like we did with the, uh, the crane and we want to child that to the rail rig. We're going to set the position here to zero and we're actually going to set this Z value to something a little higher. We're going to set it to, to 10 or 20 and see how we, we like the look of that. And that way it's a little bit off the ground, but it's still centered on the rail. So uh, we'll select our rail now. And you can see that the camera equipped to it is now showing through. And we can slide this current position on rail, and it's going to move the rail back and forth along your predetermined path. There are two things to note about this tool. The first one is the camera does not follow the track. In other words, the camera is not going to turn here. It's going to keep looking off in this direction, even as the cart turns. So you'll see as I go around the corner, you might expect the camera to turn with the, the, the trolley it's on and start looking in this direction, but it doesn't. It keeps looking off in the distance here. So you would either have to animate your camera to uh, turn it with the trolley and then force it to look in this direction, or you can go back and do what we did with the crane and enable, look at tracking, pick an object, and um, this way, whenever you slide your, uh, your the position on your rail, it's going to update and try and, and keep that subject in focus. The other thing to note is your current position on rail, regardless of how many points or how long it is, is always between 0 and 1. The max is always 1, the minimum is always 0. So this means the longer your track is, the harder it's going to be to find the exact position you want it to be in because there's more range to cover with the same values. So it's just something to think about that instead of making one really long rail, you might want to break up your shots and create a couple short rails that you have a little more control over. So like the camera rig, this needs to be added to a sequence. So we're going to go to animation, we're going to uh, create a sequence uh, called rail here. We're going to open that up, go to rail, and we're going to click our camera here, add that. We're also going to add our rail itself. And then we're going to add the custom track of current position on rail so that we can key the rail along the track wherever we want it to be. And we're also going to add the actor hidden in game so that we can toggle the visibility of this rail 